As I edge ever so gingerly through late middle age, <laughs> I find that there are certain key issues which have become absolutely central to me. There aren't as many things as I once thought was, were important, but those things that I still do think are crucially important are now unshakably central to my life. And one of them is that claim. What you hold on to, you lose. What you give away, you can never run out of. Let me suggest to you that that applies to our education as well. If you think of your education as a gift given you to be grasped, as something that you've achieved and will hold on to, if you think of your education as a training to make more money or get a better job, if you think that your education is all about your success in being able to provide for yourself and your family, all of which are great and wonderful goods, but if you think that's what's central to your education, then I must say that I think you're unworthy of your education. The reason to be educated is to teach somebody else. You never fully grasp the fruits of your education until you give it away to another. The measure of the success of your education at Boston College or Boston College High School is the measure to which people who never got to come to Boston College, the measure to which their lives are richer, fuller, more genuinely human because you did go to Boston College. That it's enabling you to give something to others. And in that process, for the first time, you will fully possess it. You never own what you don't give away. And what you do give away, you can never lose. Now, maybe that's not true. But if it's not true, then nothing in the gospel is true. Because that's what the gospel is. It is the story of the fullness of God present in a perfectly human, 